outline how you develop one of these Maxwell relations. There's four of them. This is one of the four Maxwell relations right here. How do they come up with a relationship like this? Well, last time, I think I outlined where you start with a TDS equation such as this. TDS is equal to DU plus PDV. Where did that come from? Well, prior knowledge out of chapter 6 when we dealt with entropy. Entropy was a new property in thermo 1, and we related it to uh, changes in other properties. Then just think about mathematics. Think about U as a function of S and V, or some property Z as a function of X and Y. So in general, dz is equal to, through the chain rule, last time I outlined how you say, okay, let's let z be s, x be what? Um, x and y. And then bring forward the relationship such that um, dz is equal to du is equal to so every place you see Z, you replace with a U. And every place you see an X, you replace with an S. And every place you see um, a Y, you replace with a V. Okay, so DU is equal to the rate of change of U with respect to S holding V constant times D. Uh, S plus the rate of change of U with respect to V holding S constant times dV. And then we just compare, we rewrite this equation, du is equal to uh, T dS minus PdV, and then we compare what multiplies the du, what multiplies the dv, and we find that, oh, t is equal to du with respect to s dv, holding v constant, and minus p is equal to that, this right here. Well, now go one step further now that these relationships are established, and calculate what is, how do you get this relationship? How do we develop that relationship right there? Well, if, uh, if from, from uh, mathematics, if you have the rate of change of z with respect to x holding y constant, if I take that quantity and differentiate it first with respect to x as shown, but now differentiate it with respect to y holding x constant, is the order of the differentiation important? Could I have started with first differentiating not with respect to x first, but with respect to y holding x constant? Once having done that, differentiate with respect to x holding y constant. And will that give me the same answer? Does the order of the differentiation, the partial, it doesn't matter. So it's an exact differential. So uh, a lot of times they'll express it like this. They'll say uh, dz is equal to m dx plus n dy. Maybe that jogs your memory cells a little bit. And then they say, well, m really is the partial of z with respect to x holding y constant. OK, fine. Um, um, but it's it's like uh, this right here is M, right? That's M, and this is N, cap N, true? So you can see what they are. But uh, what they'll say is now the partial of cap M with respect to Y uh, holding x constant is equal to the partial of cap n with respect to x holding y constant. So we make that observation, and then we say, oh, in this case right here, this was something like our m. So when we, we can take that, uh, the partial of u with respect to S holding V constant, true. 
that's our uh, like our M, okay. But uh, and if we differentiate that now with respect to uh, got to update all these x's. So with respect to y, but y was v holding x constant x is s. Okay. What it really t um, gives me is 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 that it's the partial with respect to v of t holding s constant. See. And and what is that? That's this side right here. That's the left-hand side. I know it's pretty abstract, but there you go. Now let's continue to work now. Now that we've worked on the left-hand side, let's work on the right-hand side. Okay, so what is the partial of N? Let me scoot down just, well, I don't like to scoot down. Let me try and squeeze it in here. What is our N in this case? N is the partial of u with respect to v holding s constant, which is minus p, so minus p. And then we differentiate that with respect to x. Well, okay, in this case, x is s holding y constant v. And that's our right-hand side. And you see there it is. There's our right-hand side. So trying to stay on one page... There, we've shown how you uh, develop one of these Maxwell relations.